I believe the U.S.-India relationship is not additive. I believe it's multiplicative. India loves what I call geometric diplomacy. The U.S. and India, I think, are a force for good in the world together, not just for our countries. If I could ask is, if you felt that India was in a place that could not absorb that de-risking, would that be a problem for the United States? It's a great question. I think it would be a missed opportunity, but I think my honest answer to my Indian friends is no. We're seeing FDI not yet flowing in in the rates I know India wants or that we would want here from China. It's going to Vietnam, it's going to Mexico. And I think there's still some really good conversations my Indian friends are having about what does it take not to make one-off exceptions for companies, but to fundamentally restructure how we tax inputs so we can have more outputs when it comes to manufacturing. Because this is still the highest taxed input major economy in the world. And I get why. It's not a criticism. There's not enough taxpayers base, so how do you raise revenues when you have a shortfall? It's usually, it's easier politically to do on outsiders, but it's harming your own internal capacity to really be the manufacturing powerhouse that I believe India should be, that we want it to be, and that it is starting to accelerate to become, but it will require, I think, some fundamentally deeper changes. When I think about the U.S.-India relationship, I think, and to the China point, a lot of people overstate that China is the reason we are together. I don't believe that at all. I think it's one of the most important pressing things we talk to and that we are aligned on. But too often I was frustrated in Washington talking to people who were saying, who would only say, oh, U.S.-India, China, or U.S.-India, human rights, and nothing in between. Legitimate things to talk in both, sometimes we're aligned, sometimes where we may have divergences or interpretations of divergence. But our relationship is 95% about fundamentally other things. China is about deterrence. It's about, I can talk about the four Ps, which is kind of our, our mission on a mission here. Peace, prosperity, planet, and people. I think it summarizes the entire agenda that we're pursuing here and that in many ways US and India are pursuing. So peace is critical, but deterring war, respecting borders and sovereignty, making sure that we don't have people who steal intellectual property, that we're not overly dependent on any one place for a supply chain, that is a deterrent piece. And most of what we can do should not be because any third party brings us together. I believe the U.S.-India relationship is not additive. I believe it's multiplicative. We demonstrated that at G20 when it was more than just one plus one equals two countries. I think one plus one actually produced 20 countries together with a historic and strongest, deepest statement ever put forward by a G20. This is, I wrote something down a second ago, it is not an alliance, but it is an ambition. And we are not seeking to create a pull between the two of us, but a potential of what I see. India loves what I call geometric diplomacy. Triangles, quadrilaterals. Because the multilateral space hasn't been so friendly always to India, even though it's led that sometimes. But when it got too big, India gets lost. And the bilateral comes with too many conditions. The US and India, I think are a force for good in the world together, not just for our countries. Recently we had doctors come from Fiji, the largest training ever for something called the Trilateral Development Program that we have together with Ministry of External Affairs and our USAID, chaining doctors and nurses and medicine in the most remote parts of Fiji, trained by Indians, partially funded by Americans here in Delhi.